everybody, welcome to the Sam Livecast. It's Wednesday. It's the middle of, ready? Boom! Spam week! Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. Or, as I like to say, spam week. <laughs> spam week. Spam week. <laughs> spam week. That is just one of those voices that I've had my dad <laughs> sing through for all of my years. The, that, that list? Yes. You're right. Watch. Oh, yeah. This spam week. This will be the one thing that's going to take me out like Paula Dean. <laughs> uh, no, Mr. No, Zion, you can't do it. You're under oath. Have you at any time made fun of a person with a lisp? Well, <laughs> no, I didn't specifically make. Just answer the question. Did you use a lisp in a not particularly flattering way? Well, I suppose it's a yes or no question, Mr. Yeah. Zion. Yes, I use the S word. There you go. That's the end of my career. I'm done. <laughs> and this will be in like 2032. I don't or know when. Now. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. 30 or some a bunch of years from now. Should we talk about her just for a second? Yeah, I think so. I think <sighs> the funny thing is, I think the backlash from this whole Paula Dean controversy has been kind of split. It mm. has been kind of split. I have yeah. maintained my position the entire way through. Yes. I care less about this. Look, of co- I don't condone the use of the N-word. I don't like it. I'm Jewish. There's plenty of words that you could use against me that I wouldn't like. I don't like the word. But in context, a 67-year-old woman 30 years ago, sorry, 67-year-old woman from the South, if what she says is true, that she only used it like once 30 years ago, I can see that. I'm not saying it's right, but I can see it. Should she lose everything for that? Mm, probably not. Mm, yeah. I don't know that I feel... Sp- I, like, I, I, I don't ever want to wish negative uh, energy, yeah, of course not. negative press on anybody. I don't know that like Martha Stewart, I feel sorry for her. But here's the thing. She's actually not said sorry yet. She's asked for forgiveness. Well, I is think, that not the same I, thing? I think that I don't think that's the same thing. No, it is. I think it goes. I want beyond forgive that. me for what I did. It's not the same thing as saying I'm sorry for what I did. Really? Yes, absolutely. I think in my lexicon. Hey, here's the deal. I think you're getting forgiveness, hung up on semantics. No, forgiveness is not coming out of her. She's asking us to forgive her. Hmm. That's one-sided. Us to her. So you rather have someone say, I'm sorry and forgive me. No, but that's the thing, Daddy. You're right. I, I Technically, don't, but the just the act of asking for forgiveness is supposed to be like I, the I don't, humbling I don't, move. See, I don't think yeah. it is. I think she needs to humble herself. But see, the problem is, is you know what? That Well, part of the problem is the way she's handled this whole thing. She should be given a pardon now just for looking like this on the Today Show. That's, I mean, oh, oh yeah. Ugh. She looked like she aged a few years. Oof. She went from 67 to 167 in like a weekend. Wait, just really quickly to go back to what you were saying yeah. about the yeah. asking for forgiveness thing. Yeah. I think it's that is definitely a sort of uh, blowhardy uh, way of going about it that wants that that is sort of trying to get it like. You're not fully owning up to it in the same way as if you were just like, I'm so sorry. I apologize. It's a little bit different of a way. Maybe I, to I don't, deflect I, a little see, bit. You know what? I don't think that oh. she, uh, she didn't even have to ask for forgiveness. I think if she came out and said, however this went down, this is, this is, this is not me. I, I am truly sorry for this. Just leave it there. Let it sit there for a while. The asking forgiveness right away on the Today Show, looking at the, can, to me that felt like she was looking only, oy, they, <laughs> she was looking only at one thing, her sponsors. There's a the 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 report is this, that she has lost twelve million dollars in all this thing. Twenty wait is that in like future million? estimated income or well, like she's on Forbes list. Top 10 lists of... Do you, are you hearing a duck? A duck? A duck? I no. feel like I'm hearing a duck outside. Shh, wait, right. shh, hold on. Oh, it's some little yappy dog. Okay. <laughs> a duck? I think it's a yappy dog. Thing. Let's go cook it. She's on Forbes' <laughs> list of uh, top 10 most moneyed celebrity chefs. That's a duck. Oh, I, now I, wait, now I do hear it. 
Let's go catch it. I heard that one. Hold on. Lynn, you can cook it. Don't say anything for a second. Oh, that's a duck. Where the hell is that? It's uh, it's not a duck. It's a bird. It's an annoying bird in the backyard, I'm guessing. God. Well, ducks are birds, I guess. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a bird. (laughs) I hear it. I hear it now. (laughs) You're not crazy. (laughs) Don't worry. The perks of doing a show. Wait, let me see if I can find him. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Go to you guys for a sec. (laughs) I think it's out here. Is he not out here? He's going out there towards the front door. If you can catch it. I think it flew away. Sometimes Mental there thing. are sometimes those birds that are so annoying and they won't shut up on Sunday morning. Wait, he's oh, back. Yeah. Oh, now he's just trying to piss us off. Wait. What is that? That's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of hear it. It's picking up on your mic. It's uh, so loud. Maybe it's like dying in the backyard or something. Oh, no, 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 what no, no. Don't in? say that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyways. She's on the... Okay. She's on uh, Forbes' list. Top 10 uh, most moneyed celebrities. Now, I heard she made $17 million a year. Jeez. Okay? Wait. So when, when they say oh. she lost $12 million from the Target leaving her, from uh, Home Depot leaving her, from Smithfield Foods leaving her... Mm-hmm. I can see how these numbers would start. It would start to impact. Yeah, because no, a person so. like Paula Dean makes huge amounts of money from endorsements. Right. Huge. Probably more than her TV contracts. Molly Snyder, Target spokeswoman, said, "Once the Paula Dean merchandise is sold out, we will not be replenishing inventory." Ugh. Novo Nordisk, the diabetes company. They love that. This is the thing that really pissed me off. The thing that really pissed me off is that she didn't say she had diabetes until she developed a relationship with Novo Nordisk. Hmm. That's what, that's at the heart of everything for me. I hate her for that. Yeah. I've said it before. I felt she had a moral obligation to tell her fans, her millions of fans, I had diabetes. I got it. This probably not the best way to eat every single day of your life. Mm -hmm. And her new cookbook, uh, uh, Paula Deen's New Testament, 250 recipes all lightened up. Yeah. Seems very much to me like, oh, I got to do this now. I don't know. If she'd, if she'd come out the day she got it and talked about it, it would have been fine. But it's not fine in my mind. Anyway, she's number four on Forbes' top ten. She was. Well, that's right. Would you like to guess who the rest are? Beebs. Forbes' top ten? Yeah. I'm I got the, put, I got Well, right number right one right has got to be Oprah. No, no, no. Celebrity yeah. chefs. Oh, oh celebrity, celebrity chefs. chef women. And as far as I can or tell. Celebrity chefs, period. Who? Celebrity chef women or celeb- celebrity. No, celebrity chefs. Pe- okay. Gordon's at the top, right? Jesus Christ, man. Max, it's 2013. What? They, they, Just but, men? They chef have doesn't rankings mean for women and men all the time. Wow. For different things. Top 50 women businessmen. Business women. I just celebrity <laughs> chefs. Okay. Let's hear it. Do you start want to know? Five. Yeah, start at number five. I'll start at number 10. Okay. Uh, don't ahead. get mad at me. I'll do no, it quick. No, it's I know. Fine. Ready? Yeah. There he is, right there. You can split the screen. Oh, no, that's not right. Look at my computer. Oh, get I'm off of that. At, that's sorry. not right. It was on Lynn's computer. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I do all this work. Come back <laughs> to me for a second. I do all this work. I spend this time here this afternoon making all these pr- pictures in my effing PowerPoint pretty, and you take freaking Lynn's computer? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm looking at what it. show no, are you you're watching? looking at a different one, Lynn, oh, okay. because the rankings are different. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, go ahead. Number one is... No, number 10 is... Number 10 is... Mother effort. Guy Fieri. $8 million Fieri. a year. That's not bad. Let's jump change. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I mean... Bobby it's... Flay, number nine. Okay. At nine million. Look at that picture of Bobby Flay. That's intense. That's some serious shit. Right. Okay. <clears throat> number eight is... Nobu. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I don't Nobu I of Nobu that. restaurants. Nobu of uh, of uh, Robert De Niro partner fame. They've got, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 restaurants around the country and the world. Mm. Nobu's around the world. I did not know that he partnered with De Niro. Yeah. Cool. He used to have just a really tiny little restaurant in Los Angeles yeah. that Robert De Niro would go eat at all the time when he was in L.A. And mm-hmm. I guess one day he went, hey, this is great. Let's do more. And they do do more. Okay, wow. ready for go back? Ready for number uh, yep. number seven? <laughs> for Todd God's sake. English? Todd English. By the way, if I ever take a picture like that, you're allowed to put a gun to my head and shoot me. <laughs> yes, please. Look at him. 
that's a very like stereotypical headshot. Like, oh, I know. Oh, they all know, do that's that. Bad. They all do Please. that. Please. Yeah, that... Angle slightly higher than the eyes. They give God. that deep stare. <laughs> big smile. Todd, it's like this. Todd, think about all the women out there who want you so badly. <laughs> now hold that pose. Snap. That's it. Go back to that. Hold that pose. You're thinking of women, Todd. There you go. Boom. Okay, <laughs> keep that shot right there. And number six is Alain Ducasse. Interesting. Frenchman. 22, 23 restaurants that go from France to Tokyo. See, okay. the thing is, he's pure restaurants. He's probably he's pure restaurant. very little well, endorsements, right? I'm going to guess there's little, but there may be there may be some corporate stuff in there that you don't really know about. You know, like a lot of these guys in other countries... Yeah. They do things. Do you remember what was the movie with uh, God? The Tokyo movie with what's his Jiro. face? Huh? Jiro? No, 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 no. Tokyo movie with uh, the actor uh, Lost in Translation. Oh okay. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Bill uh, Murray. Bill Murray, yeah. Bill Murray played a uh, an American actor whose ads were very popular in Tokyo. He did Scotch ads in Tokyo. That was the premise of the movie. So Alain Ducasse could do things like that that we don't know about. Big corporate gigs. You know, and some of these guys, these guys are like are contributing chefs to airlines and things like that. You yeah, don't really true. hear about it, but they make a lot of money from that kind of stuff. True. Okay, Alain Ducasse is number six. Numero five, you'll recognize this red-haired gentleman. Boom. Oh, but Mario. Howie. Just ate at his place last Friday. How was it? Which one? Mozza. Mozza. Mozza was it good? Good. Amazing. Yeah, you eat there a bunch, it's right? Like the best Italian in, in LA. So did you see Joe? Joe Bastianich? No, but no, <laughs> I actually read an article that Italy is coming to LA. He is. Oh no, we're getting a mozza a mozza. We're getting pizzeria. a mozza here, right? No, right, the, right. yeah, that also, but them separately. Really? Bastianich isn't part of mozza. It's uh, no, Bastianich think... and and Batali that do Italy together. Wait which is in New York. No, they do mozza together. I are you positive? Are you sure? Wait a second. I think there's a Bastianich in uh, in Moza because he invited. But us is to it him there. or is it his mommy? And it, they're not the same thing. I don't think unless they do everything together. I, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. See if you can Google. It. Okay, number five. We know who number four is, right? Mm -hmm. There she is at seventeen million dollars. Paula Dean. Wow. Yeah. Previously. <laughs> Previously. Yes. Now it's five million, I guess. If Endorsements you are IP. Okay, so we're down to the top three. Can you guess who they are? Gordon's got to be there, right? I'll put I'm Gordon not in there. Right. Okay. Maybe like Keep Wolfgang going. Puck because he's got a crazy empire of restaurants and like semi airport restaurants all well, over the world. I already know who's number one. It's it's not going to be Gordon. I already know who number one is. Okay, well, here we go. Ready? Just back to the head. screen. Yep. Number three. Boom. There you go. Nice Wolfgang. work, Max. Twenty million dollars a year. Right. He's got a bunch of restaurants, mm -hmm. frozen food, but line. I, his fo frozen food brand yeah. and he's got those little airport restaurants. Yeah. Which... Every international flight that I've taken out of LAX, I've had some piece of pizza of his um, from that little, his, his, it's a restaurant sort of kiosk kind hey, of thing. Hey, not just that. Um, at, I had my girlfriend's parents in town this last weekend and we yeah. were hanging out at their hotel at the pool and the whole menu, the whole like cafe for the pool was yeah. all Wolfgang Puck. See, oh. I think there's a lot of money in that. Yeah. Oh, there has to be. I really think there's a lot of money. Okay. I mean, you put up a, a, a not too complicated menu and then you send yeah. it out to all these places that they can re re replicate it, I'm guessing, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, unless Lynn is Googling it, do you want to care to guess the final two? Chief? It's, uh, Gordon's in there. Yeah. And then the other one I'm going to guess has got to be Rachel Ray. Oh, God. It's got to be Rachel. I if thought, she's not on the list yet, then it has to be her. I thought maybe it'd be somebody like David Chang. I don't know if like, no, maybe he makes yet. ridiculous not money yet. from his restaurants. No, I think he's starting to get there. And I don't know how not, current okay, this list not is. Not Bourdain. Not Bourdain. Think about it. Bourdain's money is just TV money and, and speaking and stuff. And yes, yeah. TV money is okay, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not FU kind of money. Yeah, I don't know. And, well... No, I was. It's not Giada. We haven't seen her, but it's not her. You know that. It can't. She doesn't do enough right now. Graham Elliot. No, Graham can't be okay. <laughs> it would never be Graham. I Elliot. think. I think it's it's Gordon, and I think it's Rachel Ray. Okay, so here we go. At number two, is. Don't know which order. Boom. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oops. I'm so oh sorry. God. Wait. There we go. Rachel Ray, number two. Wow. By wow. the way, by the way, that picture. Yeah. And that picture. Are fake. No. They're completely real. 
No, they're not. She did Shut a photo up. shoot no, for FHM magazine. And that came out of that? This so, in shoot? the black bra with the little apron-y thing and this one. No, she didn't. I've, These are Look fake. it up. Get the magazine. Dude, camera back That's on me. Bad. I'm walking in the supermarket a couple of years ago. I'm, I'm going to get one or two things. I shortcut down an aisle that happens to be the magazine aisle. Okay? okay. My head just turns as I'm <laughs> walking and I see... FHM and what I think is Rachel Ray on the cover. I go past it and then I go, wait, was is that right? I do it again. There it tomorrow. is. What? Open up the magazine. Rachel Ray in this pose with the little look at it's an apron. It's a baby apron thing. Look at these pictures. I mean, come on. Jeez. Look back and forth. They Boom. look photoshopped. Boom. They're, okay, they well, the, here, this chocolate, Rachel, whatever this, this background yeah. was not from the magazine. Oh, yeah. But okay. this pose licking the spoon. A hundred percent. How about no, this one? I feel like there you go. I feel like they Jeez. photoshopped her head on someone else's. No, body. it's her from it the magazine. Look like <laughs> no, look at the her. Look at her. By face. the way, that was her a few pounds ago. Look at her face. Yeah, it just doesn't look natural to me. I know. Look, it's her. It literally looks like someone photoshopped her. It's a weird. It's a awkward. <laughs> I gotta say something. You know what? Look, I beg on Rachel Ray all the time for all kinds of stuff. I'm. I, I, I probably would like her actually, and could have fun hanging out with her. And I look at this like one of those things that, like when I was asked to, to judge a Hooters bikini contest, mm -hmm. and Kelly said, oh, of course you're not going to go to that. And I go, of course I am going to go to that. <laughs> How often do I get a chance to do that? I think this is maybe not a bucket list. What would be beside the bucket? Um, the little bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> that if it might not be in your original bucket, but if somebody say, Hey, would you like to do this? Look, she looked pretty good here, you know. I mean yeah. she's not a sex kitten, but she looks good. You immortalize yourself at that size and weight and age of your life forever. I think I would have done well, I wouldn't. I mean, <laughs> oh, you know what you know what I mean. I know what you I, mean. Yeah. <laughs> I I somehow think some of these are fake. I, mean, I know, like, no, get no, the no. magazine. No, 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 fake. Like they're in the magazine. Yes. But they're so heavily doctored. Oh, well, like, of course they're that. doctored. I believe that. But the basis of it is Rachel Ray there in a little crop top with a apron that barely covers mm -hmm. her privates. Yeah. That's it. Barely. I don't think that got... They might have, you know, photoshopped her stomach or her shoulders or gotten rid of an ugly mole or something. I'm not saying she has a mole, but I think generally that's how she looked that day. They whitened up her teeth and fixed her hair or whatever. Made yeah. the pie look a little sexier. I have no idea. She said, what they I thought been. it was for food and home. <laughs> F and she didn't know what FHM was. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Come on. Ready for number one? Yes. Got to be Gordon. Numero uno. It's the man. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, sorry. I went the wrong I'm way. Gone. Yeah, there we go. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. There he is. There look it. at that picture. 38 million. Lynn, I get scared just looking at that picture on my computer. And I'm going to get nightmares tonight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and by the way, speaking of today or tonight, tonight's MasterChef, we're all watching. Excited. Can't wait. After these last so two excited. episodes, <laughs> cannot I just don't wait. even know what to expect. Uh, I know. Let's put it this way. You can't, you can't possibly, you can't possibly be sweating more than the last two weeks no i mean you know sweats like a graph it just kind of topples out at the top at some point and, <laughs> you know it doesn't get any worse mm -hmm. right hey so uh, so i have a conversation with jason uh marco text artist today we all remember jason right yeah mm -hmm. he drew the uh we got to get in the kitchen soon what the hell was it called Sorry. what was it called the manifesto manifesto he's done stuff for fixtures living he's amazing last year he drew what was it? Was it one picture a day? Was it one picture a day for 365 days and yeah, then sold them? One, he, one of his cool line word text drawings, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking to him today. Uh, he's going to Oklahoma tomorrow. For? Just randomly? Family. Oh, okay. So we're making jokes about Oklahomans and the food and blah, 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 that whole kind of stuff. And what's he going to eat? And he says everything's fried there. And uh, whatever. We have that whole conversation. But then we start talking about... so. What he's doing now is something called the five spot derby. Mm -hmm. And the five spot derby goes like this. Once a week. I think it's a, it's a weekly thing, right? Mm -hmm. One design, one week. One design a week. He draws a design a week. And they're 
Oh, I'm going to screw this up. They're, they're lithographed. Do you just want to see it? Here's the side yeah. right here, yeah. They're letter-pressed. Letter-pressed, okay. Which is a super crazy expensive way to print something. Incredibly. To reproduce something. In fact, it's... It's very old school. It's very cool. Every color you add, like literally adds another 100% to the cost. So this print so, that he has on his site right now. So he found this yeah. amazing place to do this stuff for him, right? So that's this week. So here's what he does. He draws something cool. He puts it. He puts it up on the site at the beginning of the week. I think it's Tuesdays. The first one to sell costs five bucks, hence the five spot derby name. The second one to sell is ten bucks, and I think they're all signed copies of these. They right? are. Yep. Okay. They are. They're letter pressed. They're signed copies. They're amazing. Framed, not framed. I don't know what the deal is. I have no idea. But. First one, five, second one, 10, third one, 15, you get it. Five spot derby, it's cool. He has subjects sometimes. Gary Vander... Vaynerchuk. Vaynerchuk. He did a bottle of wine for him. Really? Cool bottle of wine with uh, Gary's slogan in the center. I can't remember what it is. I'm so stupid, I don't really know anything about what I'm talking about. <laughs> so here's, here's, here's three other ones that he's done. Check my, here's my computer. This is the astronaut. Check that out. And what you can't see, and I don't know what the words are. He didn't tell me when he sent it. The words in here are, are me, uh, it's a sentence or two, right? Is it from like, like the Neil Armstrong Ground quote controlled or like Man, I don't know. Maybe. Dude, that guy is so talented. He's so talented, right? It's insane. So check this one out. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Ready? Wow. Yes. Cool. That just blows me away. It blows Super me away, cool. right? So, guess what he's doing? One of his next ones is going to be. What? Is it bigger? Sam the Cooking Guy. No Really? Way. Yeah. You got him to do one for you? Uh, he, uh, he asked. I didn't ask him. Yes. He asked me. He asked you? Yeah. So, we're, we're talking about what, what the words would be and trying to decide what the... Well, he's trying to figure out what, what the picture is going to be. Are you going to write it yourself? Uh, what do you mean write it The myself? words. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be a quote of mine. Okay. Mm. I think I know what it is, but I don't want to say yet. I think we've settled on one. I, I don't want to say yet, though. That's in case be we. In case we. So change. amazing. I think it'll be really cool. So now his challenge is, what does he do? Does he do my face? If he just does my face with the words in here and my glasses and my thing here, whatever, it would be very cool, and I'd be honored. But I don't know that it would have wide appeal. If he does something more food related might have wider appeal to maybe people that don't know who I am. So yeah. that's the struggle that he's got right now. Anyway, it's cool. You should go on. Go Five Spot Derby. Check out his stuff. It's, it, he's just stupidly, stupidly talented. I'm going to buy one. I'm going to yeah. stock that site, and when it comes out, I'm going to buy the $5 one. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you should. Amazing. That's great. It's amazing. Yeah, it's really neat. He's a cool guy. Okay. It's Spam Week. Sorry. It's Spam Week. <laughs> <laughs> It's spam week, and I've got to go cook some spam back there in my kitchen. It's going to be delicious. i got a great idea for today's spam <laughs> recipe. I'm going down in flames. 20 <laughs> years from now, you're right, Lane. 20 years from now, I'll be done like Paula Dean. I would love to interview Paula Dean. Let's, 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 let's I would love to interview Paula Dean. It's not going to happen. Let's make it happen. It's not happening. She's not doing any interviews, especially after what she did on the Today Show. All right, I'm ready to cook. Before I do, go to weallof.com. Weallof.com. I'm doing a private event here next week. And um, everybody that's coming to it from the organ, it's a corporate event. Everybody that's coming here is getting a gift basket from the organizer of the event. This is all their idea. They're going to get a Cooking Guy cookbook. They're going to get a knife with my logo on it. They're going to get tongs that I like to use. And I said, you know what else you should put in? You should put in some olive oil and some really good balsamic vinegar. She goes, it's an excellent idea. I go, just do this. Go online to weolive.com. She goes, I go to weolive all the time. I go, well, check this out. Nice. If you go there and put my name in the little shop now button on the top right, you'll get 10% off anything you order. And if you order enough, you'll get free shipping, which you two idiots make fun of me for. <laughs> but I think it's significant. <laughs> I think you have to spend 100 bucks or something. Dude, or maybe don't lump me in this bucks, Whatever it is. Anyway, wealove.com. 
uh, loyal fans of the live cast, and Absolutely. we are loyal fans of them. Mm. Their regular, everyday aged balsamic vinegar is one of the best I've ever had. Yes. One of the best I've ever had. It's so stupidly delicious. All right. Check them out. Love them like we love them. I'm ready to cook, boys. Let's do it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Spam. Little. Big can of spam, little can of spam. How cute, huh? Spam week. People are digging spam week. You know, when I first proposed this idea, everybody, including Max and Lynn, were like, mmm, mm. spam week, don't know about it. Question is, how do you get the spam out? That's probably like the worst part about it. Oh. oh. Okay, Jeez. I have to admit, that's not the, the most appealing little thing in the world. It's the sound, too. The like, the... Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're making, we're making, uh, we're making sliders yeah. oh, that are nice. gonna be really good, trust me. Uh, I, need to cook some, I need to cut some pineapple. Well, you just decapitated a pineapple. That's how you do that. I love that, I love that. This, this. Dude, I take this already. Pineapple and spam on a slider? Right, how good is this gonna yeah. be? Dig it, dig it. All right, so I haven't 100% thunk this through, but now you know you've got this center core in here, right? You don't want this part, so an easy fix is just this. Straight down, and now watch. Okay, so we've got like a decent sized piece of pineapple here that I think these guys are gonna work like this. Perfectly. These guys are going on. Hear that? Yeah. Nice. Okay, we also have to do that with this. Now, what's wider? Is it wider up or down? Up. This way? Yes. So I should cut like these. Like that? Yeah. Well, the good news is it's pretty much well, perfectly rectangular. Yeah, I mean, it looks like I mean, it looks like I'm cutting ham, basically, and that's you know sort of like where the name comes from. Well, let's do this. We'll just cut all these guys this way. I think they're gonna fit fine on, um, and I don't have any you know oil or anything on these things. I'm gonna guess that they're gonna cook okay like this. You know that the pineapple's got uh, moisture in it. And this has got fat in it. I mean, it's made from something that's got, you know, fat. And check this out. So this is just some, just some uh, yellow onion that I sliced. It's gonna go on these things. Nice. I got a component that's gonna be fun coming up. All right, Maxi, you back up. Can you cut Here's the logo out, Lynn? Oh yeah. Thanks. Uh, I'm going with the, uh, the uh, JES teriyaki. Because for this uh, application, it's nice and thick. Look at how's that, right? Nice. Little paintbrush. Now, like anything that you cook, that you grill, you don't want to put the sauce on too soon because it's sweet and everything will like burn and junk, and we don't want that. Just see how we're doing here. Oh, the that. smell of that pineapple. Not the smell of the uh, Spam Max? That's not getting your juices going? Apparently not. Should we have a look and see if anything's happening? Oh my god, it's like stuck. Oh, look oh, at it. Oh, wow. Oh, maroni! me. Look how beautiful that is. It's like a perfect grill mark. Jeez, uh-oh. I lost a little bit here. Oh, no. Maybe I should have oiled it. mf -er. Jeez, Louise. Oh, oh, oh my. We're gonna be okay. Yeah, what do you cook without oil? What were you thinking? I don't know. I don't know. Why did I feel like like I didn't I just imagined oh, maybe you thought it was gonna be like bacon. I thought it was gonna be like bacon and it's and an ass load of fat yeah. was gonna come out of this, but turns out it's not really happening. So the onions are good, this is good. Here's what we're putting these things on. I'll wait till Max comes back. Where'd you go to? Drop the iris. Oh. 
Where do you think we're putting these on? Did you see? No, I didn't. Hawaiian sweet rolls. Ooh, Come yes. on. Anything with spam harkens back to the islands. So I think you kind of got to use these little Hawaiian sweet rolls. And these are perfect for little sliders, right? Mm -hmm. He said, hoping that you would be paying attention to me and not the dog. <laughs> I think the little guys smell spam. Look at this. Look at the pineapple pieces. What? Oh my god. This is going to be stupid. I'm going to start basting this as soon as I flip it over. Onions is, ready. Is there anything better than grilling something that doesn't normally get grilled? No. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so now, look, uh, you remember my, my motto, heat changes things? Yes. Yep. Well. We could serve them on these little buns, just like this, plain cold bun. But the buns are going to be better if we give them a little butter. And then we're going to throw them right here on the flat griddle that's all hot waiting for us. OK? OK. So I'm going to flip these guys over, Maxie. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's going to be the picture one on the left. This guy? Yeah. Yeah, I'll save that one for you. But they're still all going to be good. So now, now we do this. Now we take this. All right. <laughs> it's That's funny how a how little bit of sauce makes it look so Amazing, legit. right? Yeah. Look at that. Look at the close-up of that thing. That's nuts. That's insane. That's beautiful. Okay, uh, here's what I'm going to do. Uh -oh, I'm going I to turn the fan on. Uh oh. Okay, back up one sec. So you need a little moisture in this, and and yes, the uh, and yes, the 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 pineapple's going to add to that. Uh, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, Japanese mayo. You could use regular mayo, and a little bit of terry. A little bit of the teriyaki sauce. All right. This little mess right here. By the way, that little combination, teriyaki sauce and Japanese mayo is like magical. These guys are almost ready. Uh-oh, they're starting to fall apart. Yes, those are, those are good. These are good. Now I can flip these. Now this side is going to get just a little bit of this. That's ready. I'm going to turn those off. This is all set here. I've got this. My buns can go down. That's what she said. A yeah. uh -uh. little bit of color on here. The onion is here. I'll just heat that up for one quick second. It's going to be so damn good. Wait do you have this. Wait do you have a bite of this stupid thing. There, we should have a place on the, on the live cast site where you and Max can put your comments. Because people see me eat it and they think, oh, I'm just like blowing smoke up their ass. Because every time I go, oh, it's the most amazing thing I've ever had. And then you guys come out when the cameras are off and you eat and, and you love it. I keep telling people there there hasn't really been a thing that I haven't liked. I mean, not to say I'm surprised or anything, but it's we put right. so much stuff on here. Do you think there'd be like really big misses? But so far, not really. We've been okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Here we go. Buns. A little light toast on them. Ah, marron. Oh shit. Five, four, three, two, one. We're good. <laughs> Okay, here we go, watch. They each get some of this little mayo, right? Teriyaki mayo, terry mayo we call this. Really good combination. Now, uh-oh, I got sticking problems here, Lynn. Uh, 
onion, onion. One quick wipe of the terry. Digging that. On that. Wait, we're not there yet. Some of that really beautifully caramelized yellow onion. This one. Oh, Boom. Yeah. Okay. They're so cute. Just let me say, yeah, cute and mental. You know how good this is going to be? I love it. I love what I've got right here. I've got the bun, I've got that, that terry mayo on the bottom part, this grilled <laughs> spam. The pineapple with all those grill marks on it, a little bit of teriyaki sauce on that, those onions on top, and then here's, here's the money bite. All right. If you don't do this, oh my God, for 4th of July, which for God's sakes is tomorrow, it's crazy. Mental. Oh. Oh, wait, we're not, we're not allowed to say that anymore. Mm. <laughs> Sweet, porky, oniony. Mm. All right. No, you, you can say mental. Mental's fine. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, um, Friday. The last day of Spam Week. Sorry to see that. It, sorry to say that it's going to be here, but Spam Week has to end sometime. And then check this out. Next Monday, episode three hundred. Wow. Three hundred. We'll do something special for that. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for telling your friends. Thank you for spreading the word of the live cast. We love that you guys are here. See you Friday. Make these. Make them for Fourth of July. Got it. Got it. See ya.